Do you have a gas tank that wobbles from side to side? No matter what you do, you've placed rubber between the gas tank and the tank and the frame, hoping to smush it together. Are you getting a little stability out of your gas tank? Yeah, it's never firm. And that's on your nerves. And when you're riding, your gas tank tilts to the side and you're constantly having to straighten it. After massive efforts of trying to tighten these little studs and clips, but yet being careful not to tighten them so much you break them from the gas tank because maybe you've been down that road before but yet you haven't found a cure and you don't want to be one of the tape people we all know who the tape people are with the duct tape wrapped around their frame in their gas tank so let me show you a simple way that you may be interested in using to keep your gas tank in one position The easiest, cleanest way I have found to keep your gas tank in one position, yet not having to take a chance on stressing out and breaking your studs from your gas tank, is by taking my trusty drill to where I can get into, and I will drill a hole through the bracket into the frame. Is like that. Now, after I do that, after I pick up my rivet gun that fell, I personally use a three thirty seconds rivet and rivet gun. Let me get that in there for you. And it's simple. I poke it in the hole in a good view. I will poke it in the hole, give it a couple of squeezes, and then my end result is one little tiny rivet. I didn't damage any structural continuity of the bicycle. I'm not drilling a huge hole in there or anything. Then I can tighten my studs just firmly to the frame instead of trying to get them so tight that they physically clamp it to the frame clamp, I must say clamp, to the frame, so it quits rocking back and forth. So that secures the front mount. You only have to do it to one mount. I mean, you can do it to both if you want, but one is sufficient. And as you can see, the tank is firmly in place. I didn't have to super tighten the studs, so we don't take any chance breaking those and damaging the gas tank. Because like I said, if you've been there before, you know what I'm talking about. So you can just firmly snug them to the brackets. Like I said, just to keep the vibration down. And you don't really have to tighten, tighten them. Okay, well, I hope this little tidbit helps somebody out. Because I know that gas tank rotating left and right and going all over the place is annoying. But more annoying is wrapping it with duct tape. That is really a sexy look. All right. I thought I'd share that little bit. Because that is annoying, annoying, annoying. All right. See ya.